there's a cat. It's black. Right, anyway. <laughs> Hello you and welcome back to another video where in today's video we are going to be watching Free True Fall Season Horror Stories Animated. So again, this is like yesterday's video, it is by the same person, IMR Scary Tales. Go subscribe to them there and if you enjoyed this video then drop a like and subscribe to me and let's get straight into the video. Scarecrow. Golden hues from the setting sun bathed the fields. The harvested crops left behind remnants, the leftovers of a bountiful season. It was our family tradition to take those remnants and craft a scarecrow, a symbol of protection and gratitude. This one's still good for the scarecrow, Mom? Yes, dear. That one's too worn for anyone to wear now. Hey! That's my shirt! <laughs> Why do you think I let you keep it so long, dear? <laughs> I think we outdid ourselves this year. This one feels more lifelike. More than just lifelike. It's like it has energy. Can you feel it? You're more than strong, aren't you, big guy? We finished up, standing oh, back wow. to admire our handiwork. Uh. The scarecrow <laughs> stood tall, overlooking the fields. Its fabric face serene amidst the autumn wind. Uh. Moonlight streamed through the gaps in the curtains, casting an ethereal glow in the room. The distant sounds of nature hummed their nightly lullaby, but something felt off. I sat up, drawn to the window by something I couldn't explain. Peering out, I saw the silhouette of our new scarecrow. The wind played tricks, rustling the scarecrow's clothing in a dance that seemed all too deliberate. <laughs> it's just the wind. Chill out. The rustling of the fields grew louder, and I could swear I heard whispers, but my logical side said it was only my imagination. How can you hear whispers? First night nerves. Happens every year. The winds grew stronger, carrying a tuneless hum, and as I strained to listen, the whispers became clearer. Give. Take. Reap. I slammed the window shut and drew the curtains, diving back under my blanket. Bright sunlight streamed through the kitchen windows, the smell of bacon and eggs wafted through the air, and the familiar clinking of dishes greeted me as I entered. The scarecrow and last night's whispering fears felt like a dream, distant and what? almost laughable in the light of day. day. Morning, sleepyhead. Took you a while to come down. Oh, didn't sleep well. Had this weird feeling. Scarecrow jitters is all. It'll pass. Emily clenched her jaw as she gave me a knowing glance. Every year, one of us gets the eebie-jeebies. It's a rite of passage. It's just your mind playing tricks, sweetie. My plate was loaded with breakfast, but my appetite had waned. The vividness of last night's events seemed silly now, but a part of me still held on to that eerie feeling. Just Do you let think it go. It was different from yesterday? <laughs> different. Son, it's just straw and clothes. Yeah. We laughed it off, but the unease <laughs> lingered. As I headed out to start my chores, I couldn't help but glance at the scarecrow one more time. Guess I'll have to keep an eye on you, won't I? The scarecrow the is clearly was just a scarecrow. Emily and I were doing our usual rounds, checking on the livestock. Hey, Jake, have you noticed some of the chickens missing? Now that you mention it, Ooh. I haven't seen oh, Mrs. Oh, Pot's oh. brood. I counted them this morning. We're short by three. Could be foxes. Yeah, I, I was just about to say. Yeah, but I saw the scarecrow earlier when the sun was just coming up. It looked... I don't know. I felt a chill it run down what? my spine. The memory of the scarecrow's altered stance from the morning flashed in my mind. Looked what? I, I don't know. It, it looked more filled out today. We both stared at the scarecrow from a distance, a sense of dread building. It was hard to shake off the feeling that there was something malevolent about it. We should tell Dad. Let's finish up here first. And Jake? Let's stick together, okay? I nodded, 
feeling a sense of gratitude for my sister's company. Why would you not the just check the scarecrow? Below the horizon, casting the farm in a warm golden hue. Emily and I approached Dad about our concerns. We found him on the porch, fixing a broken step, tools spread around him. Dad, we need to talk. What's going on? It's about the scarecrow. We think... We think it's taking the animals. <laughs> Again with the scarecrow? Did you two have some bad milk? No, Dad, we're serious. Chickens have gone missing, and the scarecrow looks different. Bigger, bulkier. I've seen plenty of scarecrows in my time. They weather, they sag, sometimes they puff up when it rains. But it hasn't rained. And what about the animals, the chickens? <sighs> Look, get your mother. We'll go out there now and figure it out together. The darkness was pierced only by the beam of our flashlights. Emily, Mom, Dad, and I ventured out together. I think this is all a bit of dramatic, but... Look, over there, are those... feathers? Following the trail of scattered feathers led us to one of our missing chickens. Or at least parts of it. Damn foxes. Foxes. Yeah, foxes. Are you sure? We need to go back. This... this isn't right. Wait, we need to check the scarecrow. Approaching the scarecrow, the air grew colder. The thing that once stood as a protector of our crops now felt hostile. As our flashlight beams hit it, there was an audible gasp. The scarecrow was no longer just strong clothes. It had taken on a grotesque, fleshy form. Feathers peeked out from its body and what looked like a chicken's foot dangled from its arm. It's absorbing them. We need to get rid of it. Burn it. Now. The grim realization hung in the air. Our creation was turning into something evil. We needed to act fast. Our farm had turned into a battlefield, and we were preparing for a confrontation we'd never you imagined. just burn it. It doesn't have There's to be a battlefield. A around the scarecrow. Its silhouette even more distorted in the silvery glow. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd point this at a scarecrow. Neither did I. He began, pouring gasoline over the scarecrow, his hands steady despite the tension. Suddenly, an unholy screech echoed through the night. The scarecrow began thrashing violently, its limbs <laughs> oh flailing, feathers and straw flying in every direction. The transformation was almost complete. Its eyes, once vacant, were now full, glowing with malevolent intent. Daddy! Without hesitation, Dad threw a lit match onto the scarecrow. Flames Without instantly hesitation. consumed it, illuminating the field with a fiery glow. The scarecrow's movements became more desperate, its screeches louder. We retreated a few steps, watching as the creature was consumed. Then, as suddenly as it started, the thrashing stopped. The scarecrow, now a fiery effigy, collapsed in on itself, turning to ash. Is it over? I hope so. It's done. As the fire continued to burn, we stood close, watching for any sign of unnatural movement. Next year, maybe we should just go with a plastic owl. <laughs> that was alright. Couple. I don't know if it means couple is in a couple of things or two people dating, but we'll see. Is someone there? Hello? Who are you talking to? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Probably just a raccoon. <laughs> I didn't know they could talk. I wasn't trying to talk to them, I, I just... You got scared? <sighs> yeah. Well, don't worry, I'm here. If anybody tries to hurt you, I'll cast a spell on them. <laughs> Thanks, I feel so safe. You're welcome. So, do you still want to get out of here? Yeah, this party is so lame. Well, where do you want to go? Anywhere. Let's go for a walk, I guess. Just go home. As long as we're going there together. <laughs> you know, I only came to this party because I knew you would be here. Yeah, I knew that. 
You're the only reason I'm here, too. Really? Yeah. Well, then let's get out of here. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> so, what made you decide to dress up as Jason? Eh, I don't know. I guess I wanted to lure an unsuspecting victim away from the crowd and hack her up into pieces. <laughs> hey, stop it! Don't say that! I'm sorry, I, I was just kidding. I hate this dumb costume anyway. Masks are dumb. No, I like your costume. It fits you. The getup of a psycho killer fits me? Gee, thanks. It I didn't mean like it like that, you know, him just, to do this. you look good with a knife in your hand. Whoa, 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 what kind of stuff are you into? Never mind, pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm pretty good at pretending. I can pretend to be anything you want. Shut up, you're bad. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. This is just plastic. It's not real. Of I course, I know it. it's not real. I'm not stupid. Well, uh, I know you're not stupid. I was just saying that I'm not actually... It's okay. I just don't want to walk around with you like an old person. You see that bench over there? Yeah. What about it? Doesn't it look comfortable? It I would be if you were sitting on it with me. Exactly. Let's go. Come on, what's gonna happen here? So, are you gonna hack me up into pieces now? What? You mean with this old thing? Not a chance. <gasps> don't litter, you bad boy. Yeah, I don't care. I'll Thank pick God it up later. Later? What do you mean later? After I'm done with you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What was that? It's probably nothing. Just a raccoon. Probably nothing. Or maybe it is something. Like a creep watching us. A creep? What are they gonna see anyway? Two people kissing? That's some saucy stuff right there. Shut up. Will you just go check? For me, please? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's nothing. It's just a raccoon or a possum. Like that thing you saw out by the house was just a raccoon and didn't scare you at all? Come on, just go check. Oh, come on. I'm telling you, it's just a dumb rat or something. Just a rat, huh? Okay, fine. Well, I'll go check it out. Thank you. I mean... Sure. Hey, Scram! Get out of here! I'm trying to have a nice time with my lady here, and I don't like all y'all scuttling and fussing around in the bushes trying to get a peek. So go on now, get! See? I told you it was just some dumb animal. Nothing to worry about. Now, where were we? Huh? Lisa? Where'd you go? Lisa? Where are you? Lisa? <laughs> she gone. What's going on? Who's there? <laughs> oh, Lisa, she's I'm gone. gone. <laughs> oh, this is just a trap. <laughs> Help me. <sighs> Hey! Let her go! Mmm, how about no? You sicko, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I'm not the Jason without a machete. <laughs> Shut up! Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Why aren't you stopping me? Oh, that's right. Because if you take one more step, I'll cut open her throat right in front of you. Don't, don't you that. dare! <laughs> like anything you do will make a difference in the end. Don't you realize how screwed you are? What are you talking about? Shh. Who's there? What's going on? Show yourselves! You two were such the perfect couple. An evil witch and a psycho killer. Such a shame you were just a couple of fakes. Otherwise, a bunch of creeps like us would be easy to handle, right? If only you had your magic wand and your plastic machete, you should know better than to go wandering where you don't belong. Stop! I'm sorry, we'll, we'll leave. I I'll give you anything you want, just let us go! <laughs> you moron, can't you tell? 
What we want is you. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> That's probably my favourite one so far. Let's go on to the third one now. <laughs> Full Slender Man. Ooh. The days in Sarah's got shorter, and the air got crisper as fall arrived. The once fun and welcoming streets now had a gloomy feel to them. As the gloomy clouds hung over the area, rain always seemed to fall when it was least expected. I became increasingly uneasy during these days, and realized I was caught up in a horror story I had invented. My name is Say, and my family and I used to live outside of Sarah's in a charming house. The area seemed calm before the strange thing started to happen. A man who got into the <laughs> That's... What is that? I first dismissed him as a chance bystander when he first crossed her street. But the next few days, I started to watch him more and more as he stood in the street looking at our house. He was a tall, strange figure with a you face... Can say that again. Despair. His eyes, however, were the most alarming thing. They were cold and lifeless, and they never stopped keeping an eye on my house. During the rain, uh, nor are they the same size or the same length. He would stay there in the rain, standing motionless and unmoving. My family and I continued to notice him as well, and a sense of unease swept through our home. One evening, as the rain beat against the window panes, I made the choice to talk to the stranger. I went over to him after stepping outside on the street. He didn't even look at me or make any movement. My voice trembled. I said, Hey, What's up with you standing around here all the time? He slowly turned to face me, his eyes obsidian. In the gloomy silence, he spoke in a whisper that made my skin crawl. I was completely terrified by what he said. I watch. I watch your household. I hurried back inside, terrified and drenched. But I didn't tell my father what I'd seen or what he meant by watching my family or why us. I wasn't sure if he believed me. And I didn't want Call to... the police for stalking? The man was still there. The next but I don't know if you're allowed to because it's still on public property. Still with his face turned up for Letting the rain soak into the bones that had started to pour harder. My limit had been reached. I decided to get law enforcement involved. They can't do when anything. the police arrived, they tried to speak to the man, but he was still unresponsive. He was questioned, but his only response was the menacing phrase, I watch your family. The officers advise us to keep an eye on him and report any suspicious activity after they concluded that they had not found any evidence of a crime. Weeks pass into days as the man maintained his eerie vigil. We felt like prisoners in our own home because we were constantly aware of his presence outside. No amount of security cameras or reinforced doors could erase the sense of dread that had crept into our hearts. One particularly gloomy night, as I glanced out the window, I caught sight of something that gave me the chills. The person who had been blocking the road had left. Instead, he was standing in front of our yard, inches from the glass, now, because staring he's on at me your with his property, obsidian eyes. That can count as trespassing, and, my and call my father. you can call law enforcement. My, my voice trembling as I recounted the chilling encounter. After a few rings, he picked up. Dad, you won't believe what's happening. I said, my words rushed and shaky. Say what's wrong. My father replied. Concern evident in his voice. Someone is watching our house and our family. He's on the street every day watching us. My father listened carefully. He was trying to understand what was going on. We need to call the police again. And this time we'll request a restraining order if necessary. Your safety comes first. He finally said. I called the police again and locked myself in a room out of fear. They arrived quickly and this time they were more serious. During his capture. The man He's made no tall. attempt to resist. As they led him away, his eerie gaze didn't stop frightening me. The police later informed us that the man had recently been released from a psychiatric facility and had a history of mental illness. Because he thought we held the key to some elusive truth, he became fixated on our family. He hadn't done anything wrong. I was about to say, it's not like he's done anything wrong. We were relieved by the experience, but there were still wounds that would never completely close. Saris would once more be tranquil, but I knew that my family's nightmares would always be plagued by the memories of that traumatic fall. The man who had been lurking in the shadows and watching us while it rained was no longer there. 
Although the man's physical presence may have been erased by the rain, his menacing gaze would live on in our memories. All right, well that was three true fall season horror stories animated. Oh, there's a cat. It's black. Right, anyway. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, if you did enjoy this video, drop a like and subscribe. Remember to go subscribe to IMR right here. And um, I'll see you next time. Doodle pip. Where's that cat?